So we are back on Forza Motorsport. Now, I know a lot of you will be saying why you're playing this game. Go back onto F1. And for some reason, I'm really enjoying this game. I know it's got a lot of like bad reviews. If you look on Steam, the reviews are atrocious for it. And I understand with the campaign and stuff, it is bad. But I'm really enjoying the multiplayer. And you'll see in these uh, first two races uh, I'm going to show. I have some great battles and it is a lot of fun. Now I'm competing in the classic Le Mans uh, series uh, in the Nissan R380, I believe it is, around Hakon for the first race. Now, um, the first race is based on the thumbnail, which we had a five lap battle um, around Hakon at the end of the race. Now, this series, the classic Le Mans series, is a lot of fun and there's a lot of strategy to had. I don't know if it's on purpose with turn 10, but there's a, a few cars, I don't know, I think it's two or three, where they basically have zero tyre wear, but they are very hard to drive and they're quite slow compared to the Nissan. The Nissan is the fastest in the series as we get done by Outrun there. And we go and have a little uh, close battle here, but he does get first position. But the Nissan is the out and right best car to have in the series in qualifying pace, but in the race, there's two other cars, it's the Maserati and the Jag E-Type, which are the best because they have no tyre wear. So, I didn't realise this in this race, this was, for like, this was like my fifth race in the series. Um, so, I was just sort of getting used to it. I picked this car because it looked like it was the best car, it was the fastest car. I think it's got the, the highest, um, I forgot what you call it, I think it's like race um, performance score. Um, I don't really play Forza. I, last time I played Forza was Forza Horizon 4 when that first came out. But um, yeah, this I'm having a lot of fun on multiplayer. We can see here we have a decent battle with Outrun. He makes a bit of contact with the rear eye car and I think he spins out a little bit. But we take first. He's got a 1.1 1 .1, uh, second penalty. And we just manage the race in first place here. And you'll realise when I do have to pit, um, which we'll see in uh, now, um, that there is three cars in front of us now um what's gone past otter is in the jag e type now that car has zero tire wear um you can do a full race and you probably have three quarters uh, left um you can see here but the car is very oversteer it's very slow to drive uh which i decide to choose uh, later on uh, in the week when i realize they are just a better car to use in the race um compared to the nissan the nissan is just too much tire wear um and it's just they're not that fun to drive actually the nissan r380 there's a lot of understeer in it and um, a lot of understeer cars on forza motorsport are just too heavy to drive um they are a lot of fun to actually uh, drive with the oversteery cars are a lot of fun uh, and in the second race we did pick the Maserati, and that is a lot of fun but we can see this is the guy we're going to have a battle with and there's another guy who comes into it strange skirt who's behind us in p4 in a jag d type and we have a freeway battle for the next five laps so we're close with otter here at this point when i'm racing i have no idea that um about the tire wear that they don't have to pit so at this point i'm like why am i not catching them this car is basically the fastest car in the series uh but we're having a lovely little battle here uh side by side close as you can get we almost beat contact there we go very wide onto the dirt here still side by side into this long left lander and you can see the back of the E-Type is just going side by side, uh, sideways I should say. And uh, we're just keeping it close knit to the kerb. Our car is just flat out, just the rear is quite solid. It's got a lot of understeer on it and it's uh, not as enjoyable to drive, um, which I, I should have chosen uh, the E-Type or the Maserati when I first started this series. But uh, how are you supposed to know? But we can see that Otter is still on the back of his heel. We're not getting away from him. Uh, you can see almost his front bumper there on the back of us. Now at this point, I'm just going flat out. I'm not really caring about the tyres because I didn't realise that Otto's tyres weren't going to die out. Um, so at this point, I'm just going as fast as possible because I'm thinking they're on merit my pace. But we go very wide into this left hand here. We lose a bit of momentum onto the long back straight here. You can see Otto is getting ever so closer in that E-Type, which is very fast in a straight line. It's got, um, I don't know if it has a lot more horsepower, but it is quite fast in a straight line. And I think it is probably the fastest. I think the Maserati might be the fastest in the straight line. But we still have having a little battle 
uh, here between the two of them there. He goes wide into that corner and we manage to get the position back on him. But we come on to lap nine now and we go wide once again in the same corner. We we'll lose all our momentum. These two are going side by side. He's going sideways and they go flying past us. They're both in the slipstream. We're going to try getting the slipstream as well, but I don't think we're going to uh, close up to him into the braking zone up here at the top of the uh, hairpin at the track. But we'll try to get him in the braking zone. Them two are having an amazing battle uh, side by side. He's still going sideways. And I must say, them cars are just a lot of fun. You'll see in the second race how much fun they are to drive. And I do recommend, I think it's a bit late now because uh, the series uh, is over. It's only for a week, but I think you should probably buy the, buy the car. I think it is about 40,000 points, CP points, uh, if that's what you call it, um, or, or money um, to buy. But we see we go wide into this right-hander. Schrinska comes almost into the inside of Otter there. We're all going side by side, free free abreast at one point and it's just amazing battle you can have on Forza Motorsport and this is why I'm just having so much fun on this game that like you can have battles like this of course you get dickheads who you know ram you off and stuff but you can have moments like this every uh, now and then which is just so much fun and I don't think you can get that experience on, on games on like Xbox and stuff uh, like this um, competing at this level of course you can do it on like Iris and in a set of course of competizione but as a controller player on a console, you can't have an experience like this, I would say. And unfortunately, Gran Turismo isn't on Xbox, um, which I would play that if I, if I did have a PlayStation, but I do have an Xbox. And uh, we can see we're onto the back straight once again. We do have a better corner than Otto. We make a bit of contact, not once, but twice. And you'll see on the top, we do get a warning for that contact. And I must say, yeah, of course, the penalty system is a bit messed up, but I'm hoping they can improve it. Uh, in the next few months you know this game is here to stay for the next few years uh, so I'm putting my trust into turn 10 that, that hopefully they can fix a lot of the issues uh, in the game and uh, yeah hopefully I'll, I'm hoping a lot more people come back to it I hope I know at the moment I think it's only about um, overall there's probably about 10 15 thousand people online uh, I think on Steam charts is about I think it's less than Forza Horizon 4 I think it's like 1,500 people or 3,000, I think it is. It's in between them two, uh, the amount of people on. So it's a bit sad to see, but I think it's because of the launch has been so bad. But I'm hoping these videos can show a lot of people that you can still have a lot of good racing on this game. And we're still battling, coming into the last lap. We can see in the bottom right, my tyres are pretty much dead at this point. And I think Strange Skirt will be in the same situation as me. I'm not sure how the uh, D-Type handles the tyres as well as the Nissan but Otto goes wide into that corner he's going very wide he's going sideways and I don't think he's got tie wear um, because I tested it a, a bit later on in the week and uh, them cars just have zero tie wear um, but we're still trying to get a bit of momentum on here and it's in the same corner we go wide for the third time in this race it's very hard to uh, get that corner hooked up but we're staying ahead of strange skirt and I think at this point it, we're trying to just try to get third, pla third place. We're going to uh, stick with this. I think Otters are a bit too fast for us. But we go very wide into the hairpin. And at this point, the tyres are just completely shot. Sample, uh, or strange skirt, I should say, flies through. And I think his tyres are probably a bit better. But he does have a 1.7 uh, 1 .7, uh, second uh, uh, penalty. Uh, if I can get my words out properly there. So if we just stay in the... Uh, window of that we should get third position but coming into these last two corners he goes a bit wide we're trying to keep a tire apex i think he's struggling with the tires as well and coming into this final corner we go for a little bit of a switchback move he goes quite wide we hug the apex get on the power as soon as possible he's going very wide i think he has to get off the gas a little bit and we do make the pass on merit on track and we do get a lovely third position and that was just a lot of fun and that is just the fun you can have uh, on this game so I do recommend anyone, who, anyone who's playing or who, who wants to buy it I understand the single player is a bit rubbish I, I haven't even tried the single player but the multiplayer can be fun um, there needs to be a little bit more content uh, but it, you can still have a lot of fun and some people are quite decent um, at driving and will give you that gentleman agreement of uh, just you know not smashing you off track but that is quite the opposite for this race with the gentleman agreement. This is a race where 
you can see I tried to start from the back in the Maserata here. And there's a guy uh, who's a Russian called At Morozov who uh, takes us out not once but three times in this race. And we still finish about 30 seconds ahead of him at the end of the race uh, because basically we don't have to pit. But we can see from the start it's a bit of a messy start. We make up a few positions. There's still people making contact but it's not like the old Forzas where people just ram you off at the start or like the F1 game. That's why I've kind of gone away from that. The multiplayer is just not at the level that I like it to be. People just ram you off and it's just not good racing. But we can see everyone just kind of keep it neat and tidy. You can see uh, Gon Forza tries to go for a move in the shell there, but doesn't quite work. We've got a lot of momentum going up the hill at Laguna Sega. I think it's Sega or Seca. Um Like I said, the American track names, I, I can't really get them right all the time because I don't really know them. But, but we've uh, had an okay start here. Not too bad. We're making up the positions. And now I started at the back because I just wanted to give myself a bit of a challenge. It's too easy with these cars to actually win from the front. Even though you don't qualify from the front, the Nissan is the fastest car um, on this game in qualifying. And you probably qualify around 6th or 7th in these cars. Um, so I wanted to start from the back and give myself a bit of a challenge. But, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm still quite, you know, liking that we could still win this race. The, the leader is only 10 seconds ahead. Um, as a guy in the Nissan does a, a little bit of a, a, a spin uh, off the track. But we can see behind us. Two of them are getting a bit angry at each other and they've both gone into the wall there. Now you do have idiots like I say and I think the um, matchmaking or the skill rating is still quite loose. I think they should need to make it a bit stricter in these sort of, I don't know if it's MMR uh, on this game. But they need to make it a bit stricter uh, just so you don't get idiots who are just smashing into you. But you can still have uh, a lot of fun races. I think I did about maybe 15 races in this series and like seven or eight of them were just like really good races so i would still recommend it but we can see that at morozov guy is in front of us in sixth position and now this will be the first time he's gonna take us out you can see already he's got a 2.3 second pelter so already there's red flags going off straight away that this guy there's something wrong with him and he is russian as well what can you expect so we we'll go up the hill into this left hander we break we've got the inside and he just turns in on us there's just nothing there he doesn't try to go side by side he turns in on us and we do get a warning that's the second warning in this video which is just a bit ridiculous for us to get a warning when he when both of them have just turned in on us uh, that was the first time he does take us out and you could say maybe it could have been an accident but you'll see in the second and third time that it is not an accident he's just his, uh, his ego's getting the better of him and he uh, he can't take people overtaking him. But we do cut the corner ever so slightly in the corkscrew, I think it is. I think that's the corner names around here. Uh, we do get a 0.9 uh, second pelter, which um, at this point, I don't think I'm going to win the race. I'm hoping we can maybe get a podium. But uh, that Art Morozov guy has just uh, ruined uh, my race at this point. But he'll ruin his own race. Uh, at some point and he does end up finishing like 30 seconds behind us but we're just going to do damage limitation at this point and just try and make our way through the field once again we're going to go for a late dive bomb on Trisha dude or Tribus dude and the guy in front in 11th place he goes very wide you can see the two cars in front of them they're both going off track one of them's lost the back end and I think it's them two have actually gone into the pit wall together I think they're still battling each other hitting each other off track and I think they're still making contact in the background. So yeah, you do get idiots like that, but what can you expect on uh, on Forza Motorsport? But we're doing damage limitations uh, as we come a little bit later on to lap three. Coming up the hill once again, we've got a bit of momentum on staying in Soda. 675, who is in the Shelby, I believe it is. Um, a lot of people choose to choose. Um, choose to choose, yeah, that's the right way of saying it. Um, the Shelby for some reason as we lose the back end into that corner. We cut the corner ever so slightly a bit there, but we don't get a penalty. It was a bit of a dodgy move that was, but for some reason a lot of people use the Shelby. I think it, I don't know if it is faster than a straight line or with the tire wear or whatever, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but we come later on to lap four. We're actually on the back of a Nissan now. I think this guy's absolutely uh, lost his tires. I think he's probably got a lot of tire wear, but to be actually catching a Nissan was... Uh, made me quite happy 
um, especially in this car which is just very obviously it's very hard to drive he goes very wide into that corner now as we're coming up the hill towards the corkscrew we've got a lot of momentum on him we're going to go for the outside move break as late as we can and we should have the move pretty much done he's still on the rear of our car he can just plant the power whenever he wants he's just press and go in that car basically and we've just got to feather the throttle uh, as much as possible it's still on the back of us as we're losing the back end in every corner but it's just very satisfying to drive this car when you do get it right he goes a bit wide into that corner and we're coming into the final corner onto the back straight we go very deep he makes a bit of contact onto the back of us but i think that will be the position done we don't get a penalty thank god um, but I wouldn't be su surprised if we do get one. But we can see in fourth position there, it is at Morozov. And we do manage to catch up to him before the pit stops even happen. That's just how slow he is. And he is in the Jag D-Type, which is outright the faster car. And just a bit later on in the second sector, we're basically on the back of him. I don't know if he's slowing down on purpose. He's just got something against me or, or just someone overtaking him. He's just too egotistical. And uh, we're coming into the same place as last time, coming up the hill towards the corkscrew. And uh, I think we do get a bit of momentum coming up the hill. We're going to go to the outside like we did last time on the other guy. We break as late as possible, hits into the back of us and takes us out once again. And now I know, how I know it's on purpose because when once he takes you out, he doesn't slow down. He just continues forward. Uh, he doesn't seem to press the brake. He uses you as a braking bar, basically. And that's the second time we make contact. And this is going to be the third time we're going to make contact. I don't know what he was doing, but he decides to slow down before the pit entrance. The reason why I went into the back of him, because I, I thought if I went to the right of him, he was going to basically take me out. He was going to turn into me. So I thought I'm just going to smash into the back of him and hopefully we can take him out. But he just absolutely backfired on us. Um, but... What's going to backfire on him is, is that he's just going to be like 30 seconds off the pace in the end. But as we come on to the final lap, coming through the final corner, and it will be a fourth position in the end. The guy in first is about 31 seconds ahead, so there was no catching him, thanks to Ats Morozov. Um, but we do cross the line in P4 in the second race, and uh, that was a hell of a lot of fun uh, in this race.